Good day, brothers and sisters. Wisdom at Dawn, episode 345. Teaching Buddha Children the Wondrous Path, a Limited Understanding. In the following verse, the world and its people and matters are the concern of bodhisattvas. When the mind and the dharma are one, we are on the bodhi path. With the Buddha mind and wisdom dharma, we have universal compassion. Master says, as spiritual practitioners, we should know the first thing that comes with human existence is afflictions. Matters, objects and people will bring about much suffering. So because of this, we seek the Buddha Dharma to find ways to be liberated from suffering that we cannot control, such as the cyclic existence in the six realms. The only way to transcend the six realms is to reach a state of non-arising and non-ceasing. It is one of returning to what is natural, the state of the unconditioned, which is our intrinsic nature of true suchness. So the world and its people and matters are the concern of bodhisattvas. The mind and the dharma must be one. This means if we are not mindful in our spiritual practice, if we forget the Dharma once we hear it, then we will not know the way to go. We will not know what is the terrain or the course like. So, how will we ever know where to go? By the same principle, if our capabilities are relatively sharp, we can listen mindfully and understand which course to take. Wholesome and virtuous friends can accompany us onto the right course and point us to the right direction. By listening mindfully to the Dharma, it will penetrate our minds so that in our daily living, the Dharma and our minds are one. Tsuji volunteers often say, have the Buddha in your mind and the Dharma in your actions. This means the Buddha and the Dharma must be in our minds at all times. When the Dharma is one with our minds, then we are on the Bodhisattva path, which is also the Bodhi path, or the road to awakening. Today, Master shared about the medical practitioners in a Tsuji hospital. They are always finding ways to relieve sentient beings of their suffering, as they know medicine alone is not enough. They keep finding ways to improve on established methods so that they can find ways that are more beneficial to sentient beings to relieve them of the suffering so that they can be happy and at peace. By the same principle, this is the fundamental great vehicle dharma of working for sentient beings that the Buddha had wanted to teach us. The one vehicle means that there is only one path one road that can transport us back to our state of true suchness if we apply its principles, which are the principles of ultimate reality. And thus the verse, Therefore I expound this sutra. The Buddha children are pure in heart, flexible and have sharp capabilities, and who, in the presence of infinite Buddhas, have walked the profound and wondrous path for these Buddha children, I give the great vehicle teachings. Master says the wondrous Dharma is a combination of, of both true and provisional teachings. We can use the vast field of medicine to study this small universe of our bodies and the many things within it. From there, we can understand the principles of the natural and unconditioned world by observing the conditioned phenomena or things that have been already formed so that we know how to let them recover and repair themselves. Although things in the world can be fixed or restored, everything that is conditioned will inevitably cease. And But everything has its inherent principle. In these ever-changing times and world, the Dharma does not change. Unchanging dharma and principles apply to the ever-changing ways of living. Thus, the dharma 
is truly necessary to this world. So therefore, be mindful always. Gan'en for listening in. May wisdom and inspiration be with all always.